Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we are back with another video, man. And this one, we're, we're going to be taking the channel back to its roots. So I've been seeing the bear market. Things have been down. Things have been really demotivating for a lot of people, and I'm starting to notice this. So, I mean, obviously, I've been taking the time to try to make money other ways. Like, I've been thinking about going back to other channels with hundreds of thousands of subscribers and stuff like that to, um, I mean, you know, to sustain for income, like more income and stuff right now. But the fact of the matter is when I look at opportunity, I look towards the future. So the way that I think about it and the way that I look at it is right now we are in one of the greatest times in history because we could be learning. We could be educating ourselves. We could be becoming better when it comes down to this NFT space and the crypto space overall, because that's going to lead to the biggest opportunities that we can imagine. Um, the fact of the matter is, even though I can consider going back to different channels, the reason that I don't take that leap is because I know that, okay, I'm not even going to enjoy that game. I don't enjoy that the, the games and stuff as much. I don't enjoy the content that I was making. And eventually, like, I, yeah, I can make a lot of money right now, but eventually the, the game is going to die. Then I'm going to be in a situation where it's like, I, I'm, I'm going to regret not taking advantage of this time right now when there's not much money to be made and educating and learning as much as possible, being in, in position as best as possible to really capitalize on what this space has to offer. Because nothing like this has ever happened in human history, and this is going to be an insane ride. So um, yeah, in this one, we're actually gonna be checking out Gary V, basically explaining what's going on with NFTs. And I feel like we need to drop more educational content here about NFTs, about the broader space, and, and really, but for those people really wanting to take advantage of this opportunity, really wanting to know as much as possible, really wanting to change your lives and your family's lives, this is the best time to learn. Like, I, I understand that it's not exciting because you don't get people posting, oh, I sold something for 100K every other day. But the fact of the matter is, if you study right now, when the bull run comes, you are going to be the one talking about, oh, I just sold one for 100K. I sold another one and then another one because you're going to know more information. So it's all about the information you know and the mindset that you have. And that's what I want to spend this time developing. I, like, it's OK if, if the income is lower during this time, because I would rather become more and more knowledgeable about this space. So um, I figure we're, we're taking the channel back to its roots. We're going to go over this stuff together. We're going to learn some of this stuff together. I'm going to give you all some of my insights and input. And yeah, the, the, that's how we're going to rock out, man. So um, obviously still the, the, the normal content is still going to be taking place daily. But that being said, let's get it. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications. And yeah, let's see what's going on, y'all. The NFT technology is remarkable. And I love the I love how it started. He said the NFT technology. He didn't say any particular board ape. He didn't say any any particular, you know, JPEG or, or, or anything like that. I always talk about how the, the fact that NFTs are much more than the, the small part that people focus on. People people focus on, oh, can I get rich off selling a picture now? Can, like, that's what people care about. This technology is here to stay. It's going nowhere at all because it is the future without a doubt. And if you don't understand why... He's probably going to jump into it. So yeah, let, let's, let's get into it. The NFT technology is remarkable. It's insane because the first year of people discovering it, their scammiest friend made $83,000 selling a penguin with a penis in its eye. Of course, people don't, <laughs> normal people don't get it. They're right. It's the same reason people didn't get the internet in 99. You had normal people saying, how the hell is pets.com worth $85 billion? They haven't sold any stuff yet. I'm not even sure Chewy.com has that valuation, you know? Mm -hmm. So like, you know, they're because they're right. The greed took over. The short-term flipping took over. And that shadowed the incredible, you know, black and white of the incredible technology infrastructure of a global scaled ledger that can affirm ownership, that can unlock everything. And I love the fact that he just touched on greed. When you look in the community and when you look at how people are saying that VV is failing, the Comey team is failing and things like that, notice how it's always, oh, the market's not returning enough money. They're not doing anything to make us more money. They're not doing anything to make these collectibles valuable right now. But they completely ignore the fact that they're doing everything to make it the most valuable in the NFT space in the future. Everything in their power to make it the most valuable project 
in, in NFT history. That is what they're doing right now. But no, people don't care about NFT history. They care about what can go in their bank account today. And that's the mindset. This is why you got to be careful who your circle is and who you're around. Because if you're around a bunch of people with this mindset, you're going to adopt that mindset and you're not going to understand what's going on. You're going to be one of these people out here flipping stuff. Oh, I got me a quick 5K, a quick 3K, a quick 10K. Look up next year. You could have got 30K, 50K, 100K and be looking salty. It's just, it's a mindset. Who you surround yourself with is very, very important because you got to watch what you let in your head. You got to watch what you let in your mind. Because what you what you feed your body, like you all know that I've been on a diet and stuff lately. What you feed your body, like whether it's it's actually eating, whether it's mental, what what you feed your body, that's what you start to become. So make sure you're only feeding your body the best, your mind the best, everything, only the best for you, because you deserve that. But I digress. NFTs took the crypto world by storm in 2021 with some jaw-dropping sales. One of the most notable being Beeple's Every Days, the first 5,000 days, selling for 38,525 ETH, which at the time was $69.3 million in March of 2021. The NFT craze attracted Hollywood celebrities, music artists, and social media creators, as the technology was predicted to transform the relationship between entertainers and fans. But in addition to celebrities and entertainers, NFTs also attracted scammers creating an unfortunate yep. reputation for itself as a means of making a quick buck without providing much utility. Since the start of 2022, NFTs are down 97%, causing many pundits and analysts to raise the question, are NFTs dead? Social media and business magnate Gary Vaynerchuk, better known as Gary V, went headfirst into NFTs, creating one of the more successful collections, The Friends, which brings to life his ambitions of building a community around his creative and business passions, using NFT technology and their smart contract capabilities. By owning a VFriend NFT, you immediately become part of the VFriends community and get access to VCon. As a guest on the Bankless podcast... And I will say, I have a lot more respect for Gary V's project now as well because of more, I guess, less ignorance and, and more education and more, more, I guess understanding because i think that as a community the vv community we often compare everything back to oh vv has 3d marvel they have disney they have all this this super high quality stuff so we we don't realize that there's going to be second place third place fourth fifth place there's going to be a lot of other nft projects out here that's really really well but when you understand the technology you understand that communities and things like that can be built around nfts and the fact that he's found a way to to build a community around something that he's passionate about, his art, like that's actually amazing. And, and it could go very, very far because it's not about what the thing is, what the actual NFT is. Yeah, Vivi has the best looking NFTs, but what will it be able to do? Because Vivi can have the best looking NFTs in the world. And yeah, while they are historic, so they will be sold as collector's items, they could be completely worthless when it comes down to the utility front. So more than likely some other project would dominate when it comes down to utility. Now, obviously the goal for Vivi is to have both the, the IP and the utility, but if a company does utility really, really well and, and has a lot of great forms of utility for their collections, that's, that is what the NFT space is going to be about, utility. So. Yeah. Gary V discussed the state of NFTs and why it's way too early to call it dead. Gary was an early investor in many heavy hitter technologies such as Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Venmo, Snapchat, Coinbase, and Uber, and he states most of these companies did not show promise in the first 24 months. So to write off NFTs, it's just way too early. Gary stands behind the technology and believes in due time, those who understand it will reap huge benefits. But before we listen to Gary, if you're new to the channel or not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe. That, that's what you got to do. Really take the time to understand, understand the technology, Un understand the technology, what it's going to do, what it's going to be for. Because if you don't, you're going to be one of the people out here confused, complaining. It's so, so very, very, very important to actually understand the technology and the, its use cases. Because so many people say, or I see people say all the time that NFTs are dead. They're never going to come back. And what they mean is NFT selling for these crazy prices just because it's the name NFT attached to it. Yes, that those days are probably over. But tr the true meaning of NFTs and the true value of NFTs, it hasn't even begun yet. And that's what you have to realize. And that's what you will realize the more that you understand what NFTs were designed for in the first place. Now, did you miss the scam era? Yeah, a lot of people might have missed out on the scam era. But best believe that there's still a new another era coming where you can make a lot of money. Peace.
I put out an obnoxious amount of content in the height of the height of the height. I have unlimited receipts of saying 99% of the projects that were booming in the boom were going to zero. So why I believe that? Because I saw the behaviors. I didn't feel like, I felt it was internet stocks. I mean, I, I said it constantly. So what I've been doing is the thing I said I was gonna do, which is operate and work. I've built a 40, five, 50 person team. I've got another 30 hires. I have meetings every day. I raise capital from Andreessen Horowitz because I want to be around. I don't know how, look, we're in a bear market. I don't know who's excited, for, forget about crypto. Is anybody paying attention to the severity of the war in the Europe, the, the macro politics there, the inflation, the underlining reports from FedEx, housing's about to crash. I really believe that. A lot of companies, cons consumer confidence is down. And so, I don't know, like, I don't expect the great winter, you know? And so like, it's not like this, my, my stock portfolio doesn't look good either compared to last summer. And my trading cards don't look great. And I don't know what, you know, people expect, like the economies don't go on forever, right? And so they have to play with money they can afford to lose. It's a volatile asset right now. When this becomes normalized, you know, of course, but I also think it changes in certain projects. Like it has to be able to do something. It can't be a speculative thing. This is why I vote. Like, and this is how you know when someone really understands. Like you see the VV community, they're like, okay, and VV is an exception, by the way. Like they say, oh, it doesn't have to do anything because it's the first appearance on the blockchain. That's enough. Yeah, it's enough because you can't, you're not thinking big picture because you can put the first appearance on the blockchain and yeah, it's going to be some collector who wants it because that is significant. But you want to know what people on the blockchain are going to want a hell of a lot more? This Batman that, that does nothing or this random regular drawn Batman by some kid but you get access to a free trip to Disney World. You get access to a free flight. You get access to, like, which one are you going for? Are you going for something that looks cool or something that comes with 16 forms of utility? It's like, and obviously that's extreme, right? But but that's just, that's that's my point. They, they have to do something. They, they're going to, they're designed so that they can do something. And in the future, I believe that there's going to be entire utility departments just focused around giving NFTs more utility to bring more value to, to collections. So that, that is that is the, the, the stage that we're heading to. That is where things are going. We're not even at the stage where people are demanding utility. People are still impressed just by good looking art. Like that's how early we are. There's gonna be a demand for utility. It's going to be a must have. If you don't have utility, your NFT is gonna be considered trash. So that that just understand that this is the world that we're moving towards from my perspective always liked NFTs. I understood that the entrepreneurs could create the thing it does, mm -hmm. right? Like, whereas with, with, you know, and, and currencies can too, but I just think too many people are relying on comic book and art and toy flipping and baseball cards, not enough on operational business. Like you need to think like Amex black card and chase rewards and they do something. And utility tops and Mattel, like you have to think bigger business. You know, my energy is very matter of fact, man, because like, it's almost as if nobody heard all the logical conversation of last year from me or anybody else, right? Like, yes, this is one of the biggest technology shifts of the human race. <laughs> but everything was so caught up in the short-term flip game that it just clouded I want you all, like, especially if you watch my content on a regular basis, I want you to listen to how those who actually understand the space say so much similar things. Like, they, they say so much similar things. Like, it, this really sounds like one of my videos, don't it? Like, this is, this is, it's because when you understand and you break it down, it's very simple to understand. It's very easy to understand, but you have to be listening. And people were so distracted by all the dollar signs. Like, are you actually listening to the logic that someone is saying when you just saw your collectible go up three, four thousand dollars overnight? No, I mean you're you're just watching, but it's like, yeah, whatever. I'm with it. I'm making money right now. Okay, it's whatever, bro. Like, but 
at a time like this where you're not making money no more, it's going to be that uncertainty is going to creep up now because you don't see the dollar sign, which means now it's more important than ever to start listening to the words people are saying, listening to the point, understanding the logic and really realizing where this space is moving to. Now you, you're not making money, so you have nothing to distract you from becoming the best version of yourself when it comes down to understanding this space. Don't let this don't don't let where we are right now in this bear market. Don't don't let it hurt you forever in this space. This is an opportunity. It's an opportunity to dollar cost average into the things that you believe in. And it's an opportunity to learn more while there's no money being made, because the second them dollar signs start back going up, that's when you things might slip past you because you're just going to be happy to hear anything positive and stuff like that. Like. You can retain more information right now because you're clinging to, you're trying to find something to cling to for some hope. Like, so absorb, absorb all the information, absorb it all. This is the time to do it. Yes, to your point, if you have Google alerts on NFT right now and you read what's happening day to day, you would be bullish. You're not bullish because you bought a NFT for $8,000 that's now trading at $600 and you're mad. <laughs> and you're supposed to be mad, I get it. But I hope that you're also mad at yourself that you knew you were taking a risk. Like, don't be mad at anybody but yourself kind of thing. Notice how the a lot of the communities out here blaming influencers. They're mad that, oh, influencers are doing this, influencers are doing that, not realizing that influencers have other investments and stuff too. We have other assets, we have other things going on. So it, like, we're all down when it comes down to this project. We are all in the exact same position but the thing is, because we actually understand and we've made good decisions early on, even us being down for most of us is still up a lot. So that's that's what people have to understand. We're all in the same boat right now. It's just we make different decisions because we don't look for people to blame. We blame ourselves. We sit here, find stuff like this, and we educate ourselves with it. You have to adopt that mindset of I need to get better. If something goes wrong, the mindset needs to instantly be, what did I do? What can I do better? What can I do different? But if it's, man, I shouldn't have followed him. I shouldn't have did that. I should have did that. Let me stop listening to him. You shouldn't have started listening to him. That's, that's what it comes down to. So that's still a you problem. Why are you the type of person who needs to listen to somebody else before you act for you and your family and your best interest? Makes no sense. I don't need another man to tell me what I need to do for me and mine. And you shouldn't either. All you need is yourself because you are the only one looking out for you. So, yeah. Accountability is important. Like I have a ton of things that have gone poorly and I'm like, ugh, I got caught up, I got excited. But I also was buying for different reasons. I was trying to learn. This is why I was petrified. The only thing I tweeted more than 99% of going to zero was don't buy what I'm buying. Cause I knew I was buying things because I wanted to learn how people were gonna do things and if it was in my wallet, see if they, like I was in discovery mode, um, supporting people that I just met on Twitter cause I want to, cause I want to. That's not a good investment thesis. You know, I like this person, I wanna support their art. Like, you know, so, but there's a, there's a lot of things that quote unquote need to be built. Uh, warm wallets, right? Like, you know, like are starting to room, like there's just a lot of cool stuff, like unlimited stuff, like, uh, NFT readers, QR readers are nice now, right? Credit card with chip readers are nice right now. Both those didn't exist 10 years ago in America. Europe on the QR, on the uh, chip, right? Like that stuff's way better. And so like, we need more of that, right? We need, we need, like, could you imagine you have an NFT, there's a replicant made that can sit in a hot wallet that doesn't allow somebody to steal your actual NFT that's validated that you go to Madison Square Garden right there, I'm looking at it. And if you own the Common Sense Cow, you can see the cows, the hottest band in the world perform. I'm making up that the cows are now a hot band. You know, <laughs> but like, you know, there's so much, so much. And wait to Apple and Facebook and Google. Like, look, the conversation isn't about the underlining tech or the smart strategic operations. It's about speculation of pricing. Hmm. It's almost like everyone's paying attention to the value of the comic books not the ability to print, you know, paper. <laughs> when, if like, if paper wasn't invented yet. Like, like, you know, the analogy is like, everyone's worried about, you know, the, the, it's why Wall Street fucks me up. Like everybody worrying about the stock, all my clients at VaynerMedia 
have worse businesses than they could because they all care about their stock price every 90 days instead of building a real business. And so I think that's my hope. And this is why Vivi gets so much backlash and flack because they focusing on building a real business and people don't understand what that is. They like they've never seen that in this space. Even the the most OG people in this space who's been here a while, they may notice patterns and stuff like that. They have experience. You can't take away how how knowledgeable someone is about this space. But at the same time, they're not knowledgeable about where the space is going and the technology. And a lot of times they don't understand why it's valuable. They just they, they just have a pattern recognition for prices and how much money can be made with certain things at certain times. And they can see and spot signals when something is about to go good or something is about to go bad. Just because you have that experience, yeah, you can make a few bucks with that. But when you actually truly understand the, the project and when you truly understand the space as a whole, that's when you have true vision to understand and really maximize your profits. So don't look at other people who's winning right now. You see people, oh, I'm taking $5,000 right now, $10,000. Then you sitting there getting mad, getting salty because you make the right decisions right now. You'll be the one, they'll be looking at you selling the same thing that they they just sold. You'll be getting 100,000 for it, 200,000, 500. Like that's, that's the difference. That's the difference. Like if you have that type of confidence and understanding of what's actually going on, it, it, it's different. It's a different mindset. Like when I see somebody sell something for a crazy amount, I'm happy for them. I'm glad. Like if you sell something for two, three thousand, congratulations. That that's good for you. I'm still waiting. I, I know it's going to get to ten thousand. I know it's getting to fifteen. So I, I'm waiting. You know. So I'm, I'm in no rush. That's what it is because I actually understand where we're going. They're selling because they're not sure that it's ever going to get there. So they would rather lock in some profits right now. That's a lack of education. You know. So yeah. That more operators focus on not so many, you see this, you guys are paying attention. So many projects are doing such short-term things to appease a small percentage of people in their discord who are fudding, who aren't, who don't necessarily, uh, aren't necessarily doing the wrong thing. They're worried about their self-interest. They should, they're human beings, but that's a bad job by the operator. Can you imagine every head coach in sports right. listening to the crowd and making his or her decisions on the next play based on that to watch the full interview that that see that's crazy like and that's exactly what's going on with vivi you see the people complaining and vivi just ignores them all and they do what they're what's best for the project this is why i'm so bullish on the project because i understand this i see this i understand why people are complaining i i get it like they they should be worried about themselves but if they were really worried about themselves, they wouldn't be crying to Vivi. They would have been smart enough to do enough research to understand why Vivi is taking this route to begin with. They, they would know that Vivi is trying to be around 30 years. They would know that Vivi is trying to fit 50 million, 100 million people onto this platform. They would know that making a platform to sustain that and to keep that retention for that, that, that amount of people, it's not going to be a quick journey. It's going to take years, many, many years to do that. But people want returns and stuff right now. So um, yeah, those like if you want to follow people like that, that that's your choice. But just just be beware who you listening to. But yeah, that being said, man, let me know what you all think in the comment section down below, fam. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace out, homies.